Hello student, this is Shraddha Tone from Computer Engineering Department. In our last lecture, we have seen that what is the basics of microprocessor, microcontroller and its block diagram. Now, in this topic, we will discuss different types of microcontrollers. Like microprocessor, the microcontrollers have family of microcontrollers. Different microcontrollers require different support chips and resources to develop particular microcontroller system. To choose an appropriate device to meet system requirements, we must understand differences, different options and features of various microcontrollers. So this is the first type of microcontroller. We call it as an embedded microcontroller. This block diagram shows the microcontroller system with embedded microcontrollers. So when a complete hardware required to run a particular application is provided on the microcontroller chip, it is referred to as an embedded microcontroller. So this embedded microcontroller only require power reset circuit and clock. So embedded microcontrollers communicate with external devices with its digital input output pins. So this is shown in the block diagram of this embedded microcontroller. Now the second type is external memory microcontrollers. Sometimes for large systems, the built-in program memory and data memory are insufficient. So to overcome this problem, some microcontrollers allow the connection of external memory. And for the connection of external memory, more parallel ports, pins are used as address and data lines. Thus, Connecting external memory to the microcontroller, it will reduce its parallel input-output capabilities. And this figure shows the microcontroller with external memory connections. So as shown in this figure, many times address bus and data lines are multiplexed and separated by external latch and ALE signals from the microcontroller. The 8051 can work very efficiently as an embedded devices or with external memory. Its architecture is also very thoughtful and practical combination of different philosophies. So, before going to study the architecture of 8051 microcontroller, we will see the different processors' architectures. Thank you.